Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, and we are, I'm so excited, I'm kind of fumbling over my words. Seriously, uh, these are some of my favorite videos to film. But, out here today, I've got my Remington 700 in 223 Remington. Me and my boys custom spray painted that. We did a video on it, if you want to check that out. But I actually really love it. And my son um, has taken a ram with this rifle on film. So that makes this rifle even more cool and more special. But my buddy Lee loaded me up three custom 223 loads. And that's what these are right here. This rifle is sighted in dead on at 100 yards uh, with some different ammo. But for this video, I'm going to do a 100 yard grouping test with these three different types of ammo that my buddy Lee custom hand loaded for me so a big shout out and a huge thanks to Lee for hooking us up with these custom 223 hand loads I don't have these memorized so I'm gonna read it off to you what these are exactly this one right here this is a 55 grain full metal jacket we're gonna do a three three maybe five shot well let's do three shot groups well that one this one right here this is a 60 grain varmint round. It has a little bit of a hollow point at the end. Camera's probably not going to want to focus on it. There we go. 60 grain uh, varmint round here. And then this one at the end is a 55 grain lead nose soft tip. So three different types of ammo. We got a full metal jacket, 55 grain. Then we got a 60 grain hollow point varmint round. Then we got a 55 grain soft tip round. And I'm gonna go back to 100 yards, shoot a three shot group of each one of these. Uh, they're probably not gonna hit bullseyes because this is sighted in with a completely different bullet. But <clears throat> it's definitely gonna be close enough on the target where we can check out the three shot group. So again, a big thanks to my buddy Lee for hooking us up with these custom hand loads in 223. I'm super excited to see what we can do with it on paper at 100 yards out of my Remington 700. Let's get to flinging these boo lights. Like I said, I really love doing these type of videos at 100 yards, seeing how we can really squeeze out um, some precision. And I think we're gonna do pretty good with these hand loads here. All right, now we're back at 100 yards with my Remington 700. And like I said, my hand loads from my buddy Lee. So first, I'm going to load up, I'm going to shoot four of each. Uh, four, I normally try to shoot three or five shot groups, but just in case uh, I have a bad trigger squeeze or something, we'll have an, an extra shot and I'll say, hey, throw out that shot or something. Uh, but I'm going to load up four of these soft points. And then, uh, well, at least I thought I was. Hold on. I'll put one in there crooked. That's the one thing about these Remington 700s I'm not a huge fan of. Some of you are. They don't have detachable mags, so you got to load them from the top just right or else they get boogered up. All right, now we got four of these. I'm going to do a four-shot group of all three of these. These first ones, these are the 55 grain soft points. I'm going to hold dead center on all these and do my best to try to have a perfect trigger squeeze if I can. And I already got her on all the zooms at 20 powers. But like I said, I set this scope up for my son, uh, or this rifle rather, to uh, be his hunting rifle. So everything's Loctited perfectly torqued and all that jazz. But let's see where we're hitting with these. Try to do my best on my trigger squeeze here. We're hitting that circle there save my brass here if I didn't say it already those circles are a penny that I traced down there hit the bottom of the penny that time oh, it's humid out here my glasses are fogging up poked the center out that time now let's shoot that fourth one which we hit the penny every time. I don't even think we need this one, but I'm gonna shoot it anyways. That's a really good group there at the end. Still a good 
group for a four shot group but those three whoo boy we're right close i think those three are actually even touching but good group out of that one i'm impressed next i'm gonna do a four shot group with these 55 grain full metal jackets let me load these in all perfect like over here almost every time i load this gun i mess it up All right, now, four shot group with these full metal jacket hand loads here. Those ones are hitting just a shade off of the penny there. At least that first shot. A little bit right of the first one there. Shot number three with the FMJs. Split the difference. Let's see what shot number four is gonna bring. A little bit outside those others. But let's go to the heaviest now. These are those 60 grain varmint rounds. Shoot a four shot group with these and see what we can do. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm having a whole lot of fun. Uh, these are some of my favorite videos, behind hunting and, and long range stuff, doing these um, ammo tests at 100 yards, seeing what we can squeeze out of these rifles and ammo. Some of my favorite videos, but here's the 60 grainers. See what if we can get in a penny with these. Bottom of the penny. Same hole. We've got a humdinger right here. These 60 grainers. That is three in the same hole, guys. Man, this rifle really likes this ammo. Probably going to have to take this ammo on a coyote hunt or something. So that's ridiculous. Three in the same hole. That's like unheard of stuff. Whoo, holy mackerel. I think we have found the perfect loading for my rifle, Lee. That stuff is fantastic. That, that's, enough, uh, that's enough to make me want to have a dance party right here, but y'all don't want to see that. <laughs> Let's go down there and check out what we did here with these three loadings. Man, I'm super excited, especially about that last one. All right, so walking up to our 100 yard targets here, Here's our first group. Those are the 55 grain soft points. And remember, that's the size of a penny. There's my thumbnail there. So four shot group, not bad at all. Those three, almost touching. Next, we went to the 55 grain FMJs. Three just kissing the outside of that penny. Fourth one went a little bit wide. Again, there's my thumbnail. But that 700 really liked the loading on these 60 grainers. That is four shots in the same hole, guys. That's like unheard of. I've never put four shots that tight at 100 yards with anything ever. That's just absolutely fantastic. Really appreciate you guys watching. I absolutely love this Remington 700. This is the ADL model, if I didn't say that already. But always enjoy going back to 100 yards and just really slowing down focusing on the trigger squeeze and seeing what we can do with this rifle. Absolutely love it. Like I said, uh, my son, we filmed a ram hunt. He took a ram with this rifle, did fantastic with it. Also did another ammo test with this rifle where we tested about eight different types of ammo. If you like this video, go check out that video. I'll put a link somewhere where you can find it. But yeah, uh, Remington 700 ADL, testing out those 223 hand loads. This one really, really likes those 60 grainers, as you can see. Again, appreciate my buddy Lee uh, for helping us out with that hand load ammo. This rifle absolutely loves those 60 grainers. While I'm sitting here thinking about it, 
I'm going to give it two clicks up. It was just a shade low with all that ammo. And I know we're going to be hunting with that uh, 60 grainer stuff. So it was a low. There's two clicks up. So this baby is ready to rock and roll. Um, comment down below if you guys want to see us do some hunting with this coyotes. Uh, we could even do some whitetail hunting with this baby coming up this season. Comment down below what you guys want to see next uh, for the 223. But again, a big thanks to my buddy Lee for hooking us up with some of these custom hand loads. Uh, absolutely turned out fantastic. Did good groups out of this 700 ADL. But appreciate you guys watching. I could ramble on all day. Really appreciate you guys watching and telling your friends about the Hootie Hoo channel. Absolutely means a ton to me and we really appreciate it. Comment down below what you want to see next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my friends Heavy Metal. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo! Okay.